What's up, guys? How you guys doing? Welcome to Before We Work, episode number 10, with your boy, Ocean Crash, a.k.a. Canon Miko. What is good, y'all? What is good? So, um, yeah, for today, Before We Work, you know, I got my coffee. It's a Friday. I'm feeling good, y'all. I am feeling good. There's only one thing I recognized is that I don't know why whenever I recorded in this room with my GoPro you hear a lot of background noise like white noise I don't know why so I gotta find a way to fix that I might get a mic um, I might add the black uh, the black uh, like wall sound reducers fuzz uh, static whatever it's called the fuzz um, so yeah uh, before we work so number 10 today I, I don't know I didn't know how to word this so if I figured out how to word this it'll be in the title right now but um, today's video I wanted to talk about the people who complain that they're gonna work 40 hours a week for the rest of their life and blame the government blame other people, you know, just blame, 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 blame. Um, I saw a Twitter post um, saying, I just realized after college, I'm going to spend 40 hours a week working for the rest of my life. It was something along those lines. And I was like, really? <laughs> like, like I, my, my thing is, I feel like people complain too much about working 40 hours a week for the rest of their life and they never really do anything about it. My thing is, if you want to complain about it, you know, then find a solution. Don't just sit there and, and, and why, you know, <laughs> try to find a solution for it. Um, don't, don't just, don't just sit there and complain. There's so many things you can do. You can be an entrepreneur. You can be an investor. Um, investing in real estate property is huge right now. It's huge. Okay, you can buy a forty, fifty, sixty thousand dollar house. Buy your first one off of FHA. Okay, put down three point five percent. That's like I thought. That's like around a thousand dollars for a forty thousand dollar house, if not lower. Okay, rent it out for about a thousand to a thousand to a thousand four hundred, depending where you're located. If not a thousand six hundred. You're golden. You you have side income, okay. Use that money to to pay off that house. If you think about it, just think about it. You buy a forty thousand dollar house, okay. Your mortgage and everything is about all ex monthly expenses. Mortgage uh, uh, business man uh, real estate manager. So you come you you hire someone to um, come look at your house, clean it up. I think they're called rental rental property managers or something like that. Uh, they take I think it's twenty percent of your of your rent. They, that's what they take to to manage the property for you. So I mean, take that, okay. Um, take the profits you'll make anywhere from six hundred to four hundred dollars a month. Reinvest that into the property. Okay, and then when you have time, you take a, um, I think it's called a heckle, uh, H-E-C-L, H-E-C-T, something alone. Um, yeah, and, and you just take that, I forgot what it's called, it's a home equity line of credit, Hel C home equity line of credit, HELOC, it's a, thank you, bam, it's a HELOC loan. Um, take a HELOC uh, loan. It's a line of credit against your home equity. Okay, so maybe after like a year. Okay, after a year of, of, of paying that house off with the rent you're getting and money you're earning from the side, you buy another house. Then what do you do? The profit from the second house, you take it, you put it in the first house along with the rent of the first house to pay off the line of credit and then to pay off the rest of the house. And then that second money you get from paying off that first off, you switch it over to the second house, 
Then once you have around 20, 30, 40% paid off on the second house, you take a HELOC on the second house and you buy a third house. And then you take the rent of all three, pay off the HELOC on the second house, pay off the rest of the remaining balance for the second house, and so on and so forth. And you can do this very young. Go to YouTube. There are young real estate investors, 19 years old, 20 years old, 21 years old, 22 years old. You can find them anywhere. Real estate investors, uh, stocks and bonds and futures investors, cryptocurrency investors. Uh, there's so few investing in your future. Start a savings account, start a Roth IRA, start a four, your 401k, start something. Become an entrepreneur. Buy, buy a business, or, uh, create your business, buy a business, create a product. There's so many ways to get out of the 40 hour a week grind for the rest of your life. I don't plan on working until, I'm, uh, until I retire. I wanna retire when I'm 30 years old. I wanna have, by retire I mean like actual business. Like I wanna, I wanna run businesses by the time I'm 30. I don't wanna work in them, I just wanna run them. And I think the mentality of just sitting there and complaining, well, this is gonna be me for the rest of my life, 40 hours a week. Meh. Thanks, Trump. Thanks, Obama. It's like, come on, dude. Like, stop complaining. You know, get your ass off the couch. Get out your ass out of out of Starbucks. Okay. Your your 30 32 year old self working at Starbucks and get a real job. Even if you have, a, there are people who have college degrees. They can't even get a job. You can get more money Ubering, or driving a taxi, or delivering pizza. Than working at Starbucks, unless you're unless you're a shift supervisor or a manager. I worked at Starbucks. I know. I've been a bre I was a barista for six years of my life. I mean, I made crap. And I didn't realize until after I graduated. I mean, in in, in some states where I worked, Starbucks would pay me nine dollars an hour. And it depends minimum wages everywhere, even though minimum wage isn't nine dollars here. It's uh, 8.25, so 75 cents over minimum wage. Just think about that. You're gonna work for a business, okay? Five, six, 10 years after you graduate college that pays you 75 cents below the minimum. That's mind blowing. And then you sit here complaining that well, I'm gonna work 40 hours a week for the rest of my life. Even if you have a six figure job, and you're working 40 hours a week for the rest of your life. You make six figures. You can invest easier than anyone else. You make six figures. You pay off your student loans or whatever it is. Then start buying houses. Start buying stocks. Start buying whatever it is. Like, there's no reason in our day and age for anyone to complain about working for the rest of your life. I, I personally have made a business, made businesses with like $100, $200 investment, $100 investment for a business, for a business. It's possible. I've, I've started investing with like $25. Buy penny stocks, do your research. It's hard to make returns on penny stocks, but it's possible with enough research and dedication. So, Stop complaining. I'm tired. I'm just tired of hearing the woe is me. I have to work 40 hours for the rest of my life. Okay, one, if it's something you love to do, then that shouldn't be an issue. Okay, if you're working 40 hours a week for something you don't like to do, then that's your problem. <laughs> no one else's. Okay. Two, if it's something you love to do and you still don't want to work 40 hours a week, be a business owner of that program. I love coffee. I'm opening my own coffee shop. I love, love the culture and the, the process of sitting in a coffee shop and taking orders and running back and forth and, and, and uh, pulling uh, three espresso shots while steaming my milk, while grabbing the, 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 the uh, what's it called, the mocha pump and pouring it in the cup and then quickly turning off the espresso and then turning off the milk and then and then pouring the espresso it's like I love just that hectic running around lifestyle I love it okay 
So I don't care if I do it for a long time. I love marketing. I do marketing. I don't care if I do it for a long time. I work from home. Not many people can work from home. But I'm not sitting here complaining, man, this is me. I'm going to work 40 hours a week for the rest of my life. I don't, I don't like, I don't make more than a lot of people. I make a, I make a decent wage, okay? And I'm still investing businesses. I'm still opening up my own, my own coffee shop. I'm still trying to buy investment property. Because it's not about how much you make. It's about how smart you are. And the more you complain, the less smart you're going to be. This world is filled with sheep and it's filled with people who just like to talk and not really provide much action. So I advise you, whoever you are watching this, I advise you to take action. Okay, there are so many resources out there. Personally, my favorite resource is David Ramsey. You can find a bunch of other people. As I mentioned in my previous vlog, I, I, I went to Aja Dong's uh, uh, forecast uh, not forecasting her budgeting videos just because i personally like the way she set them up okay she talks about student loans she's more of a student loan crisis than everyone else she just paid forty eight thousand dollars in student loans and she has another hundred and twenty thousand so be be a doer not a complainer be a action person not just a sayer and it's 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 very possible in this day and age and I wish you guys the best of luck in your endeavors to grow and become very successful people. And the only thing I will say while closing 